All right, I wanted to show you guys one of my uh, somewhat higher powered crystal cells that I do make. Uh, I really don't spend too much time making these cells, but I do make them. Uh, I find the, the cells that make the little amount of amps to be very interesting because of the, uh, what Tom Bearden says about not destroying the dipole. But I do work on these much higher output cells. Um, here's one right here. Uh, I'll just show you the voltage on it right now. We're at 1.3910 volts. It's on the 2 volt scale. So you can get the voltage reading on it. And also let's do a... Show you... It's kind of... It's hard right now. I don't know if you guys can pick that up. I'm just poking it with the titanium rod. Show you that it's pretty solid. But, um... I know everybody's asking me about the amps on this. And we're going to go to the milliamp scale. We're not going to be on the microamp. It's going to be on the milliamp scale here. And I'll show you. We're going to go to this setting, which is 20 milliamps. So, we're getting about 9.3 milliamps out of this particular cell. That's not micro. That's milliamps. And it's going down. So, you can see I do work on the um, higher output, higher amp cells. But I spend a lot of time working on lower amp cells just because of the Tom Bearden talks about not destroying the dipole, which is basically not using any amps. And that's what I like to focus on. But here's one of the higher output cells because I know many people are going to be asking about them. And I do work on them, but I just spend more time working on these puny little glue cells. And I got some interesting things I'm going to be doing with those here soon, too. So, uh, yeah. So let you guys know what I'm doing.